How's it going everyone? This is Amask and welcome back to another PP video. I'm going to be using the same Swords Dance Reptile team. Uh, last time, I don't think I played really well and I want to use this team again. Uh, we didn't get to test it much either. So, yeah, I just ch changed Rock Tomb to Toxic on Ladderos because of uh, like Garchomp and Zapdos and stuff because they just stay in and we can't really do anything to them. Got a game here and a Mega Metagross team. Mega Metagross, if my opponent makes good predicts, could be a, like annoying. Though I do have Landorus and Sceptile is faster, so if it is lowered enough, it can knock it out in Earthquake. I think he just leads with Rotom, so I guess I'll just go with this. Yeah, there comes the Rotom. So he could go uh, Volcare Ona. Uh, he could go Chansey. Maybe I'll SD just in case if he goes Chansey, I'll be able to do deal a lot of damage. Yeah, like there's no point of him staying in with Rotom because it will just get one hit KO'd because he doesn't know I'm SD, he probably thinks I'm Leaf Storm. Yeah, there comes the Chansey. Okay, we're gonna get a knockout here, I think so. Like Leaf play should be able to hit KO this. I don't want to click Outrage because then Metagross comes and Revenge kills us, so I'll just leave Blade twice. Though if he goes Volcarona, I might have to click Outrage. Depends. Uh, I don't know if uh, Volcarona dies in Earthquake or not, or an offensive one. Bold one definitely doesn't. So it depends on what type of Volcarona he's using. So yeah, he stayed in, tried, uh, ends up poisoning me. Um, yeah, I'll just de-blade it. He probably goes Tangrowth or Volk. Tangrowth it is. So. Rocky Helmet? It is Rocky. But I want to click Outrage. Like, yeah. If I can get rid of its defensive core, I think my winning chances are going to be very higher i don't know if this dies though but okay yeah it's a two hit kill at least knock off shouldn't knock me out it could go metagross here but it lowers it enough in range of mag i think yeah i think septile did really well actually <laughs> at the start yeah you can go metagross it's not mega so it's gonna take a chunk yeah 50 percent almost this that is pretty nice and I can even trap it now so that works perfectly fine. Though I want to calc if uh, my T-Bolt kills this Metagross or even Volt Switch. A Mega Metagross. Uh, Mega. Uh, SM, not SV. Uh, Meta, Mega, uh, All Out Attacker, level 100. Uh, Magnezone. My Magnezone. Yeah. He will does 44 to 52. What about Hidden Power Fire? Uh, that does 47. So, yeah, I might want to click T Bolt. Well, I'm thinking that he's not max special defense or HP. So, yeah. I think I'll be able to just deal with it using T Bolt. Or maybe I should Bolt Switch. He can't switch out, but he gets Chansey back. Ah, yeah. He does get Chansey back. But I don't know, but... Hmm, I think he gets Chansey back either way, because if I don't kill this in Wolf Switch, then I would have to go Lando. Click, and um, then my Caldeo wouldn't be faster, so I can't really go Caldeo to prevent Chansey from setting up or stop building up. So yeah, I guess T-Bolt is fine. At least Metagross goes down, so uh, I won't have to be afraid of like ice punches, random ice punches here and there. Or not! Uh, I got the lowest roll possible. <laughs> okay. Not good. Not good. I would suppose he sacks this though. Yeah. 
Oh, Metagross being gone is not good. Uh, Kelly is faster than everything at least. He gets the chancy. I keep Muck healthy for the Volcarona. I'm gonna go. Do I go this and allow it? He does have Rotom, so uh, he could still defog. I should go Kelio. Because Tangrowth is in range of two Secret Swords as well, as I think. So I can just Secret Sword here. He stays in trying to poison me or... Oh, it survived too. <laughs> oh no, 2.3%. I don't know if that was the max roll or not, but uh, either way, my Kaldu gets poisoned. So I Secret Sword here. Yeah, Chansey is gone. Good, good, good. A Volk, Rotom. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go Lati. Probably Volt switches and brings Crodon out most probably. Willowist. That works fine as well. I uh, feared he fears Draco Meteor, I would think. So I'm just gonna psychic here. I doubt he goes hard Crodon. Yeah, Tangrowth. Oh, sorry about that. That was my door. <laughs> Room's door. So Tangrowth's gone. That is good as well. Crodon comes in. I let it kill my thing here. Or do I sack Lando? Mm. I can intimidate it. Then go Caldeo. Drop a secret sword. Ah, but he should knock off, right? So Landros will probably survive a knock. And then I get a free U-turn. Okay, maybe, or even a rocks actually, so yeah, I think maybe I should save this. I mean, if the, that's SD, I could be in trouble. Uh, Kaldia is gonna take a lot then. Uh, Rocky helmet. Is that banded? That feels like non banded Life Orb. Yeah, I figured that much. Okay, trouble. Yep. Uh, Rotom is still alive though. I'm gonna U-turn. He, yeah, he does save it. Yeah, so I get a free Caldeo here. Hopefully, I can drop a hit the Focus Blast and uh, get rid of this Rotom. But should I risk it? Well, he clicks what? Volt Switch, right? Uh, he clicks Volt Switch. If I go Lando, then he Hydro Pumps. I'll let him kill that. But either way, I if I need to kill Rotom, I have to hit a Focus Blast. Because <laughs> he will just burn the mark. So yeah, this is the play. I missed. Well, no can do. <laughs> I die to poison, right? 0.1%. I don't know if I survive that poison. Wolf comes in. Yeah, I don't. Okay, well, I can at least trap this and uh, rock slide it. So that's that. He goes. Brodome. Yeah, good play. Yeah, focus blast miss. Yeah, it all depended on that focus blast, honestly. Fuck, my fuck door is just killing me, dude. Oh, God. Let me close it. <laughs> Did he volt switch to Roto? Yeah, okay, he did. So I'm just gonna T wave this, I think. Because why not? Stays paralyzed, good. I'm gonna go. Do I stay in? Nah, I have Muck to kill this. I'm predicting the switch, but I don't know, like, is it a good play or not? Oh, yeah, he did switch. Roto. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I'll just knock because I feel like he volt switches again. No, will of it. Oh god. No. Poison? No poison. Uh, that is not good. I have to poison jab. If I can kill this Roto, maybe I can win. Not really. I mean, Latias can't do anything to Crodon. So if my muck is in range of Crodon's Aqua Jet, like 
oh wait Crodon is faster so yeah it, it can just knock it out and Landros is definitely in range of Aqua Jet I think so so yeah but Poison would have helped here like if it happened on the turn one maybe if he goes Crodon and does something which can help me no not really yeah doesn't do it yeah, just gonna rock slide probably goes back to roto as far as i'm concerned um, maybe i'll just poison jab yeah the the matagras survival that was unex uh, not unexpected but it was bad for me and then uh yeah the the focus blast miss yeah that was a critical point i had no choice i had to hit that Unfortunately, he jab okay. Yeah, so my thing was correct. I do get the poison. I'm just gonna go with a jab again, I guess. Wolf switches out to what is the question? Volcarona, okay. That did a lot, even when I'm burnt. So I'm gonna knock here. Space paralyzed. Volcarona is gone, I think. Yeah, crit. I don't think crit mattered because Poison Jab did so much. That's like very unoffensive type of Volcarona. So yeah, here comes this thing. I have to jab, of course. He's gonna jet. No, DD. didn't get the poison <laughs> yeah if, even if he double dds he's not faster than my latias crit maybe no poison Ooh, i won i literally won <laughs> I, I don't know why he did it again i just won he dies to poison and I can kill the Rotom with uh, that uh, Psychic Even if he switches out to Rotom right now, it dies to poison as well Yeah, no, I no idea why he did uh, that but I won The dub double DD was a bad play. I think DD DD in general was a bad play, but yeah somehow we won I would have won if focus blast hit anyway, so <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that Right, uh, down many down I do have Landros, so I'm not worried about Darm. Mega Medicham, on the other hand, with Ice Punch, can give me some handful of trouble. Other than that, definitely looks beatable, winnable. I don't know if beatable is a word, <laughs> honestly, winnable. Yeah, I'll just say winnable. Uh, his lead, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna lead with Medicham, doesn't really, I guess uh, that uh, Darm, but I think this is the best lead in my team. Landros, Darm it is, good. Yet I'm gonna get free rocks here, so yeah, I like that. He doesn't have a Defogger, which is interesting, looking at his team, many as Darm and Cloyster. It makes uh, it easier for me because I'm gonna wear it down. I get turn one stealth rock too. It's amazing. Among Us comes in. I can go for a U turn. Now I need a sleep fodder. Do I go for Mark as a sleep fodder or Mag? Saptile? A lati. He does have by sharp and chancy, so maybe maybe I do go for lati as a sleep order. I can go saptile to make him click uh, sludge bomb because I'm pretty sure he clicks four right now. 
I mean he could make a predict that I'm gonna go subtile so he clicks 4 because that's an obvious play as well subtile looks good but uh, this card Darmin Darminitan is probably scarf and Gleister has Ice Shard Bishop has Sucker Punch Medicham has Take Out and Double Priority if it has Bullet Punch and Among Us and Till I set up as the Among Us just blocks me. I don't think I knock Among Us out in plus two outrage. I hit two outrages. I think Saptal is the most expendable here. It's, okay, he moved. Uh, okay, fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go Saptal. Hoping for four. He could click Sludge Bomb or Clear Smock to four. Good. Mega Evo Evolution and Outrage. He collects Sludge Bomb. I could go this, force the Chansey out. He could even go by Sharp on the Latias. He could even stay in because Among Us might not die in one Psychic. Septile is super useless, I would say. So maybe I just Outrage this so that I can lower it enough for other Pokemon to deal with it. I don't think I would die. Clear smoke. No, that shouldn't be a two hit KO either. Yeah, good. Good thing I didn't sword sans. This is good. It should switch out if he wants to regenerate, giving me damage on something else. Could be by sharp. No, stays in. Clear smokes again. I am locked. Still logged in. So you could go by sharp now. If he wants to. I'm hoping he just gives me the Among Us. So I don't have to worry about Spore. But Bishop seems a good play. Yeah. Here comes the Bishop. It's gonna take like 20-30%. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> ah, nice. So... I guess I'll try... Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll try to... Uh, outplay if he sucker punches. Oh no, he didn't sucker punch. Oh, he has deed himself. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Earthquake. Oh, he sucker punched. <laughs> uh, oh well. <laughs> Kelly is gonna eat a sucker punch, I guess. It will have to. I got no choice. I can just call. I mean, if he clicks, that is no, he doesn't save it. Good. Among Us should get to hit KO'd after Stealth Rocks. Burn? No burn. He goes Chansey though. Back to Chansey, right? I got this. Get a knockoff off. Rocks are up, so I don't need to go Landorus. Yeah, I'm gonna go this. He should save this. I think so. Yeah, Chansey is free. That is why. Just gonna go for a knockoff. It hits everything, gives me Evil Light, which is awesome. Oh no! Oh god, okay. <laughs> uh, nah, 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 nah. Oh no. No. That sucks. Muck was actually, I would say, important. <sighs> Hmm. Um. Among Us. I'm gonna hit a blast. Hopefully hit so that Among Us dies. I think it does die in a focus blast. 43%. 0 0.5. No. Oh no. 0 0.5. Ah, uh, hit again, please hit again. Oh, he switched out. Now, why? Chansey, Sax Chansey saves Among Us. Okay, interesting. I missed. <laughs> hit again, please. Good. Okay, so he still can't go anything except 
uh, Medicham. If that helps, I can go Lando. I have to keep Caldeo healthy at all cost. It is the sweep sweeper here. And yeah, Mag is too after has chance he's dead. So Mag can spam T bolts and World Switches as well. I'm gonna go this. Uh it's a pretty obvious ice punch predict, honestly. If he has ice punch, that is. But uh, still, I give him some Rocky Helmet chip. Zan had better. Okay, two two points of uh, like two times of uh, Rocky Helmet chip. In this case, I'm just gonna U turn out. Among Us. Oh, nice. That works. I get to go Caldeo and click Scald. Like, what's taking it? I don't think anything's taking it. On the other hand, I could even go this and then go Caldeo. Just to create a more pressure. Yeah, I think Magnazone is better. Should die. Think so. I'll just still calc it among us. It's because it's black sludge. Even if it's like max special defense calm black sludge, which I don't think it is. Force is just 11 to 13%. I mean, looking at the amount focus blast dead. Yeah, 0.5. It was more so. It's not max. Forces should kill. Yeah, I think so. 18%. I'm wrong about everything. No. <laughs> I'm wrong about everything here. Spore. And Lati is my, is my spore. Sort of. Yeah. Just gonna go mag again. At least he doesn't get recovery. Uh, it's, it's the same amount of health, really. He can go Darm. <sighs> yeah, I have, to, um, I have to switch out. Honestly, he clicks U-turn, but I can't risk it. I think Mag is important. Mm -hmm. My Landorus' attack is so low, I can't even rely on Earthquake to deal with it. I'm just gonna go if I lower Caldeo by sharp is the problem maybe I should poison this yeah I'm faster what kind of cluster is that super low speed I'm faster than the cluster interesting Uh, yeah, I'll just u turn out. Like, if I'm faster than this, 222, should, if, even if it's 221, he's, oh wait, he's plus 2, right? Oh yeah, he's plus 2. Makes sense, okay. True. Uh, yeah, I still think I should go mag. Yeah, mag is better than Caldeo. Just gonna volt switch out here. I'm faster. He's like super low speed. So I'm gonna go Caldeo. If he goes Darm, I can sack this. And I'm pretty sure after if uh, one more stealth rock Darm can't switch out, so he will have to stay in. I think I could win this. Yeah, it can come back in again. The thing is, it mostly earthquakes here. So if I go Lati and this dies, that means he gets the free buy sharp. Then I would have to switch into Caldeo. On the knockoff or SD. I think I would still win, honestly. Among Us is low, so super power. That works. I get a chance to 
try to see wave something here if he decides to go by sharp that is uh, well i'm sleeping so it doesn't really matter the dam can come back in by sharp do i wake up no uh, i'm gonna go hard Keldio. i have to think so knocks my item off obvious i can go for card he's gonna sack darm no okay should have sacked darm i don't think he dies but i think he should have sacked darm like he can regenerate i guess yeah I'm still just clicking Scald again, honestly. Okay, he gives me Among Us. Interesting. So that was, I think he's been gone. Like, I don't really think he can kill me. Darm dies. Bishop can, can Sucker Punch, but dies. And then I can deal with Medicham here and there. Even if he fake outs here, like, yeah, I'm not going to go Lati. Even if he fake out BPs me, I'm not dying. No way. Carl, he didn't even do that. So, yeah. Burn. Does not matter. Mag, Mag would have come and killed it. In HP fire. And, uh, and not even HP fire. T-Bolt. And I would have knocked the Vaishab out in T-Bolt as well. Yeah. His play was to save the Among Us. I wasn't predicting much. Because... Like, there was instances where I could have made a predict. Because I even said that he's going to do that, but I didn't predict. Uh, like, the Diamond Towns U-turn or uh, Lat the knockoff on Latias. Yeah. So, that's that, but I still won. That's good. Okay, Phaethon and Heatran both. And a Surf. Surf is annoying. And a Roto. Okay. Annoying team for sure. It uh, could be a hard matchup. Though if I am able to trap this, this uh, Sceptile can sweep. I'll count on that. It doesn't have a Volt Switch switch in, so I'm gonna lead Mag. Caldeo works, works. Unless that Scarf. Yeah, it's not Scarf, good. Okay, interesting. Goes Phaethon. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't predict. Um, I'm, I thought he would go like Heatran or something. So, I can go Caldeo. He doesn't have a Caldeo switch in. So, I can go Caldeo. He might, might want to stay in because he doesn't have a Caldeo switch in. So, I can go Mag and trap it. That's what I'm thinking. Caldia is super good too. Yeah, please seed. Protect, please seed. It's gonna be a problem, but <laughs> I just need to lower it. They didn't protect, so that's that. Need to get rid of this thing so that Sceptile can sweep. I mean, look at the team. Sceptile can easily sweep. Unless the Medicham is like fake out bullet one, so you can get two priorities at one turn. Uh, even if he's like, uh, if in if his only mono like only fake out as a priority, then he would have to at least sack two mons. Then he, after that, he'll be able to kill me, if I am able to get an SD, which I might be able to if uh, Caldeo locks himself into card or I get a free switch in against Rotom or something like that. Adicham comes in. I can go Lando. I have Lando for only this purpose, Medicham, against his team. Ice Punch is a pretty obvious predict, so it could do that. Yeah, yeah, Lando's dead. Mm hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. So I go Caldeo now. Uh, click like uh, do I want to predict the serp? Not really, I don't think so. I'll just call 
Rotom. Oh yeah, he could go Rotom too. I forgot about that. No burn, so Volt Switch. Uh, I'm gonna keep Muck for the Serp. So I'll go with this. It can paralyze the Heatran at least if he goes into it. Or anything else. Yeah. Need to get a Sceptile Mega Evolution somehow. Somehow with the momentum which I'm doing with Heat uh, Mag. He's not Air Balloon, nope. Do I go Keldeo and click a Secret Sword? I mean, there's no point of paralyzing this. Yeah, I think he's just getting rocks up. No, wait, his rocker is pass on. Yeah, never mind. Uh, no rocks. Eruption. Ooh. God, that did so much. There has to be specs, right? It has to be specs. So I go for Secret Sword. Uh, Rotom should get to it, cured. There it is. Yep. So at least Rotom's gone. Good. But I'm vulnerable to Medicham fake outs now, which is a problem. Go Surf. I have Muck to deal with Surf. Substitute. Doesn't really matter. I can just click Knock. And I can click knock again. Um, most probably heat ran. Caldeo giving me specs. That's fine. Do I let him kill me and then go septile? Or maybe I should let him kill my kill my Lati with heat run, with heat run. Because if it's an eruption specs heat run, looking at the amount of damage it did to me, I think uh, if I just keep clicking psychic, I'm in a good position. Great. Now it's not a spec, so leftovers. Get to know. Yeah, I should lower this. Magma misses. Unfortunate. Well, um, the Psychic is doing too much. That's definitely offensive. It has no bulk at all. If he misses his next move, I might be able to knock it out. Unless he is Protect. No, he doesn't. Good. No, he didn't miss. That is fine. Again, I go this. I think I can just outrage sweep at this point. I can just click Earthquake. Caldeo took a knockoff, so it's in like Caldeo dies to leave blade anyways. Pretty sure Medicham dies to outrage and I'm pretty sure Sarpeter dies dies to outrage as well. Or am I choking? Am I choking? If I click Outrage and he glares me, I still get a kill. Okay, I might be joking. I do have a free mark, so maybe I should use that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't let him glare my sort of septile, honestly. He doubles. Maddie Jam. That was a good double. I'm just gonna P jab. JK definitely kills. Yeah. Go Caldeo and click Carl. You go Serp. I go this. Click T Bolt. It still goes Serp. I need to lower the Serp. Yeah. I have to lower the Serp. Definitely. So
If I click hydro pump, he dies, right? Then I don't think he wins against Saptide if he lets this die. Yeah, thinking I should be crit sword on the Serp. No, he stayed in. Ah, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, without specs? Really? Oh, wait, was I specs? Oh, my specs didn't get knocked off. His specs got knocked off. Ah, okay, I was confused. I thought my specs were, was knocked off, so I wouldn't do, kill this in Skull. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That works. Yeah, that works. All Now all I need to do is just Volt Switch out. If he goes Serp, it puts it in Outrage range. Everything is in just, uh, just in Outrage range. So, if he goes Serp, Caldeo, Sex Caldeo. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Now you could go Medicham and do. Yeah, he does have Psycho. He did have Ice Punch too, though. At JK Psycho Ice Punch, he doesn't have Bullet Punch. So yeah, just uh, Outrage here then. At Outrage should be two hit KOing this, and I kill the Medicham with the uh, uh, Magnezone, pretty much. Because it will take a million years for this to kill me. <laughs> Not really if it's HP Fire. And but I still have to stay paralyzed like three turns in a row. Yeah, I think I'm highly win with this. Yeah, didn't stay paralyzed. Good, we win. Mag is faster than Medicham, anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Leap Blade. Yeah, Saptal put in the work, honestly. <laughs> it because it was faster than everything in his team so it put a lot of pressure because there's nothing to be thinking about there's nothing to be calking honestly because uh, it didn't even click take out though because uh, uh, mag is always faster and i can always kill in t-bolt yeah gg good game trick room not good, not good. Uh, no, not good. I want. I have to keep Landros healthy for the this guy. This what is this called? Heracross. Yeah. Still, I'll. I want to get rocks up at least. He's gonna taunt me if he has that. So I'll just. U turn out here. Yeah. Sash and Devo, so I don't want earthquake. I'm gonna U turn out to Lati and just click psychic. Or even Saptile, but he could mark punch the Saptile. Yeah, Lati, I guess. No, it didn't taunt me. <laughs> okay, nice predict. Yeah, that was a good play. It did not taunt me. Besides, just uh, just uh, get rocks up. So his sash get uh, turn was in his the turn went in his favor apparently. So I'm just gonna psychic. I could go Cresselia. Even Azu is uh, not really not Azu. If he's predicting psychic. There's no point of going out. Cresselia handles it pretty easily. So Cresselia is the play. Even Porygon. Okay, gives me Infernape instead. Uh, that's fine. That's good actually. Rocks aren't really a problem for my team. So it's fine. Uh, but I would have preferred if I got rocks up turn 1. Because it just helps. I do have Muck to trap the Cresselia. Porygon comes in. He's gonna set up what trick room, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go mock and knock something off. Ice beam. He didn't go for trick room. Interesting. I'll just knock, getting rid of this evil. His evilite health. Uh, Azu. Para instantly. 
poison type that helps that helps uh gonna go this guy landers is free want to get rocks up as fast as possible pen missile probably so it won't give him rocky helmet chip unfortunately sd instead interesting uh if he wants to attack i'll just earthquake does he want to attack he does interesting oh that didn't do shit and i'm faster because uh, uh, yeah of course i'm faster they took take gives me damage quite a lot yeah if i earthquake he dies so he should be switching out let me get rocks up Chrysalia is free because he has a free Chrysalia right now. Why would you ever sack your hair across? Yeah, my Landress's attack is a problem. Wish it was <laughs> higher than 20. Yeah, but no can do. Yeah, he saves hair across. I get rocks up. Poygon comes in. Supposedly slower than me. You could get Trick Room or Ice Beam or something like that. I'll still keep this because I can get a, I can get a, uh, an intimidate off on both this and this. So I want to keep Muck healthy as well. Do I? I think I want to keep Keldeo healthier than Muck. Okay, let's go Muck. He should either be setting Trick Room or Ice Beam. So I think I'm fine here. Try attack. Okay, yes, try attack. Holy crap, that did so much. To an AV mark. Got an a special attack raise, but still. Wow. I'm faster though. Good. No more evil light. Knocks me out. I want to force him to healing wish. This is his second trick rumor, right? Yeah, let me calc this. If if Sceptile can kill after because Evil Light's been knocked off, so if it can kill Porygon 2. Porygon 2. Yo, where the heck is Porygon 2? Porygon 2, are you defensive? Let's we'll just keep max defense without Evil Light. Electrum, see. Outrage does not kill. I can't let this guy set up Trick Room. So, but if I go Keldeo, he saves it and goes Chrysalia. Do, do I knock this out and do I not knock Chrysalia out into Hydro Pump? If I do, I might want to take that risk instead. Yeah, I do have a chance after Rock. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I knock Porygon out as well. Expensive. If you remove evil light leftovers, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm just gonna click hydro pump here. Either either he gives me his first uh, one trick rumor or the other, which helps me preventing him from trick room. Azumel, well, this should get to hit KO'd. Hydro pump, unless I miss, of course. Oh, okay, citrus. Yeah. Okay. Didn't expect the citrus. I'm gonna sack Lando. It didn't. Good. Good, nice. Rocky helmet tip. I don't kill it in hydro pump, unfortunately. If I go septile and leave blade this. I don't think he wants to save this. Or I can go this and bolt switch out and again go Keldeo, but then he gets Chrysalia in. And he gets the healing wish off.
he gets a healing wish off either way i think so yeah because <laughs> he doesn't have a reason to like switch out take damage on Cresselia so I'll just uh, Um, maybe I'll just uh, click T bolt, spam T bolt. I don't want to switch out. That's pretty much it. Because uh, this forces him to click close combat, which against which I can like go lati and stuff and do some thing, some stalling. If he gives up Chrysalia, then I win with pretty much. I'm pretty sure I win with Keldeo, just spamming hydro pumps. Though I have to hit them, I, or I could even win with Saptile, but that depends. Yeah, he gives me this IT bolt. Uh, Heracross dies. This thing dies. Uh, unless it's Lightning Rod, I don't see a point of going Marowak. Yeah. So yeah, he's he has to give up the Chrysalia by Healing Wish. So I'm just gonna T-Bolt here. Clicking Healing Wish. Maybe I paralyze, maybe I do some hacks. <laughs> yeah, that's why this is I think the best play here. Light screen. Ooh, interesting. Is that light clay? Trick room. Lunar Dance goes that the light screen. I didn't expect light screen. That changes things. The Heracross won't die in Psychic. Can SD2. He needs to click Close Combat to kill me. Might not win this. There's three more turns of Trick Room left. And I don't have enough Pokemon. And he got, he went and clicked the light screen too. And if it's light clay, um, yeah, I lose. If that's it, if that Chrysalia was light clay, I lose. Yeah, does click CC, so I get to stall one more turn here, which is good. It's gonna try to T wave if something like some sort of miss miss, miss or something happens. I don't think it happens though. So as a psychic. CC. So now I have to stall more here. I'm gonna go septile. Like by going septile, I'm hoping that he might not click close combat and clicks a uh, uh, pin missile, so Mac can survive it. That's the whole plan. Cause the end of the day i will only win if the light screen fades it does click close combat he's at minus three so he's definitely dies to scald yeah i wonder if this dies in focus blast i bit with even with light screen up 75 i have time heracross mega max hp uh light screen is up and it has minus three special defense right focus blast does 47 to 56. yeah what about porygon 2 then in light screen do i knock that out hydro pump light screen is up no easy light leftovers i might i might rocks are up i might yeah so best play is to click hydro pump then hit hellcross dead yeah now i only win if i knock the porygon out and i think there is a chance 39 there is a chance it, ha it has a maximum of uh, 43 percent roll oh yeah i win Straight up, I'm gonna stack the septile and go click scald. Don't wanna risk anything. Yep, awesome, awesome. <laughs> that light screen was annoying, man. 
could have changed the game but i played it pretty well and he uh, he gave me the opportunity to by clicking close combats again and again he didn't predict with his hara cross which helped yep card kills i win awesome <laughs> Yeah, the previous game was horrible, but uh, I'm happy to end here, honestly, end the video here. It's, I think it's been an hour long. I'll cut it up. It will be like around 50 minutes and so. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like it and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the new PAP content. I'm going to use Mega Samba Train next as someone suggested it. And I'm also going to use the Timid Subtile. I have one. Uh, this was from Dawnbreaker. So, I actually forgot to mention him but thanks for to Dawnbreaker for lending me this it's I mean it's super good honestly that is the best jolly septile I've ever seen in this game <laughs> and thanks for watching I'll see you all next time goodbye